In this video, I'm going to show you how to reuse engraved slate coasters. So if you're tired of losing slate coasters to test engraves or failed engraves, stick around. And if you're brand new to laser engraving, I've got an awesome resource to share with you later on. Two of these coasters are brand new and engraved, and two of these coasters have been re-engraved multiple times with different images before the final image. Can you tell which ones are the brand new coasters versus the reused coasters? We'll call it A, B, C, and D. Let me know down in the comments which ones you think are new versus which ones are used. And don't worry, I'll tell you later on in the videos which ones are which. This is a slate coaster that I've done some testing on and I wanna try reusing it. I'm gonna use my orbital sander with some 80 grit sandpaper. You don't need an orbital sander. You can just use sandpaper and do this by hand. It'll take you a little bit longer, but it is still completely doable. However, I have one, so I'm gonna use it to make my life easier. Now, after sanding, it's gonna look like this. I will say that if you have these uneven edges like I do on this coaster, you're not gonna get all of it out, but I'm not planning to sell these or do anything with these other than testing. So I don't really care if I get all the edges. So it's dirty now and we need to go wash this. I'm just gonna give this a wash in the sink with some water and dish soap and clean it off. And when you wash this, it's gonna amazingly turn black. Don't get your hopes up because when it dries, it's not gonna dry that dark again, but we're gonna take care of that. The first coaster I have coated with a matte clear coat. So it makes it look darker, no shine. It looks like the original slate, but darker. In addition, I am also going to test a satin clear coat finish and then a gloss clear coat, which is very shiny. So I just sprayed this one with clear coat and you can see it's still flashing off. You have to wait until this is completely dry according to the can. You do not want to throw this directly into your laser engraver because as this flashes off, it's releasing chemicals. You don't want to burn that and make more fumes. And also you risk starting a fire because this is actually flammable gas is coming off of here. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I paid about 80 cents each for these slate coasters. And it's probably taken me about 10 minutes per coaster to sand it down, clear coat it and get it ready to go again. My time is worth a little bit more than 80 cents for 10 minutes, quite honestly. But for me, I'm not selling these as a business. I'm not selling like hundreds or thousands of these and have to like just turn them out like that. I like reusing materials as much as possible. It doesn't feel as wasteful for me. And that's why I'm doing it. And I'm sharing this because I feel there's probably a bunch of you out there who are doing this for hobby work. And, you know, you don't mind spending a little bit of time to save on some materials. If you're running a business and turning things over, you know, and selling hundreds of these, this may not work for you. Unless you've got an intern who needs something to do, in which case, let the intern do it. Before we take a look at the results and I show you which coaster was the new one versus the reused one, I want to take a second to tell you about a new free resource I've just released. It's a 35 page ebook called Laser Learning Foundations, and it is full of the information I wish I had when I started laser engraving. It talks about laser types, what they can and can't cut, safety considerations, and some ballpark estimates of price for the different laser systems. So if you want to get up to speed quickly with your laser knowledge, be sure to check out the link in the description and grab your free copy of Laser Learning Foundations. Now this one, I sanded down and did not clear coat it. And this is a brand new coaster without clear coat that I just engraved. And this one is our brand new coaster that has been clear coated. However, it didn't come out quite as nice. And there's actually quite a bit of irregularity in the surface of this one. I know it's, you can't really see it on camera, but it is much lumpier and bumpier than the others. And I feel like having sanded a coaster down, it gets a smoother finish and you get a much nicer result. So even if you're not thinking about reusing these, if you've got a rough batch, this might not be a bad method to try and smooth it out a little bit and get some better engravings. If you've been finding this video useful, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. This was our matte clear coat. It was sanded down, spray painted with acrylic clear coat and then engraved. I think this came out really nice. It's got good detail. You can really see the image from, I mean, the image looks great from all kinds of angles. It's really hard to show that on camera. This is the satin finish. I'm not as big of a fan. I do like that it's darker. The glossiness of this really doesn't do it for me.
This is the gloss coat, which also has a nice darker coloring. However, it's so glossy, it's really hard to see the image from multiple angles. I'm not really a big fan of the gloss coat. Here are the coasters under only my work lights over my workbench. And you can see how shiny that the last two are. This is the matte finish. This is the satin. This is the gloss. And these are so shiny that if you're standing at the wrong angle, you can barely see what the image is on the coaster. I'm not a huge fan of that, but that's my opinion. So let me know down in the comments which of the finishes you preferred. Time for the grand reveal. The brand new coasters are C and D. C was clear coated and then engraved, and D was not clear coated. It was just engraved straight out of the package. A and B have both been re-engraved multiple times. All of the engravings in this video have been done using my longer B130 watt laser. If you want more information about the laser, you can check out my review video up here. Thanks for watching, everybody.